Let's say we knew what we were doing. <laughs> Thank you. And we decided how many pieces and where these pieces are supposed to be. Actually, how, how you do that is you need to get your eyeballs right down on, on, on the eye level that you're pulling the plaster off of. And then, it, or at least I do. Example. My eyeballs are right down here when I pull the plaster off of this. This is going uphill a little bit, and it will try to grab this tape. See what I mean when I pull it this direction? That's going to work okay. And the reason it's going to work is this stuff will dry about a sixteenth of an inch away from the mold. And you can also rock your plaster as it's coming up so you have a tiny bit of leeway, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. However, the closer to perfect it is, the better it's going to come out when we try to pull it apart. And then I'm, I'm taking my hand and I'm, I'm moving some of these things where I think they may catch just a little bit. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to mark this basically I'm helping Chet just a little. Okay, we're going to I'm going to change that. Let's move over to here. Right up this foot. And I'll turn this around so you guys can all see. I think you're gonna have to. Maybe not. I think you can do this in one huge piece if we if we get a little creative with our design and we change this angle. I want to show everybody this. I need. Okay. When y'all look at this, see the back piece. In other words, it's coming right up here like this. I need to be able to come this way as far as I can to, to be able to get the space, okay, on the front. The way it looks is I need to stop about right there. Does everybody see what I'm talking about? And if I change the angle of this, then I can move this on over. A lot of times it's all about, well, not a lot of times, it's all about design and making these things work if we simply change the facet you okay what happened I'm sick. you're sick mm -hmm. Jesus don't breathe on it I've been sick it was great my wife <laughs> waited on me hand and foot made soup <laughs> I ate every bite of it, and then I threw it up. <laughs> yes, it's good. Okay, change my angle. And now, I can move this.
lagi. Let's do this. Let's go right up this tail. And by the way, when you put shims in, almost always try to make a 90 degree angle. Don't don't make a big TP and or a big wide. Y'all follow what I mean? Try to change your. I would like to have this over here, but I'm losing too much of that right there. So, let's change the design a little bit. And, it may actually be <laughs> better. Excuse me. And when, once you get it out of the mold, Senor, then you can cut you can cut that out and do what you want to. to it. This is marginal, but I think it'll work. Okay, we're good to go. I believe this whole thing will come this way. Okay, three pieces. That's what you want. Fewer the pieces, the better chance of it coming out. Um, where's my tank here? Guys, there is no rocket science about doing this. It's just we need a wall. start right on his face. It only hurts for a little while. If you if you can get to where you look at the negative, because you see what I'm talking about? I'm looking at the surface here. And it's a V shape. And what I need to do is actually Cut that V shape somewhat. So I don't have to press him all the way to China there. And I would like to remind everyone, please start at the bottom. Don't grab one of these and say, oh, this looks easy, I'll put that in first. And the reason for that is then you have to fit in a piece that is a specific size and it's harder. So just start at the board, please. Once I decide I'm in about in the right place, I'm going to. I'm trying to get an inch and a half to two inches. And I'm also leaving a vertical surface or a vertical edge all the way around these things. Some, some of them will, I guess, wind up with a, with a sloped surface. And if it is sloping, 
the problem is your rubber bands will will try to slide off the mold. You can't keep a rubber band on it to to hold the mold together. So it's got to be a vertical surface so that rubber band will stay on there, if that makes any sense to you. I'm going to assume that I know what I'm doing. Oh, Lord. And try to cut this to where I don't leave any burrs. That's your job. Because I'm going to roll my edges a little bit. And if these things get bent and you don't want them bent, take your scissors and or a pencil, tool, anything and straighten that back out so it'll go in there for sale. Tigger, I mean leopard. Here. He goes right Form. Oh, that's good. Plenty big. It actually doesn't need to be quite this far, but trust me, I know what he'll do when he tries to cast this face, and so I'm going to leave it like it is. Actually, I'm going to put it a little further. Okay? This hurts. That's why I said keep your ears wet, because once you push this in those ears, they, uh, it's not good. Okay, we're gonna take this wall all the way up to here and or, and then we got a split back here, right? We're also probably gonna take masking tape and tape this edge right before you go in there. Because if you put it on today and then, oh, we're gonna come in on Friday or whenever and throw a plaster on there, and you keep a towel sort of on there to keep it. You know what I mean? If you don't do this the same day that you throw it, it'll collect moisture under the towel. The tape will come off. You'll have to redo it. It's just a pain. So you either do it today and or instead of going on across here, guys, I, I would assume the best thing use some newspaper, make the shape, then you can just put it on here, trace it, cut it out, and you don't waste this stuff, guys, because it's 16, 7 cents. <coughs> I just spent a fortune. Who found him? Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Knapp found these at Atwood's. Who paid for them? Me. Who do you think? Who's daddy? Who's daddy? I've been paying for it. Now, hey, that'll work right there. Look at that. Make them work. Good. It's good. 
Stomach? Who, mine? Mm -hmm. Maybe. It's been pretty off speed for a while. I'm the Sim Man. I'm the Sim Man. I like it. Now, I'm going to have to tape some of these together. You see what I mean? Right before you go into the plasma room. However, this is what it's supposed to look like. He's got red on his butt. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to do this whole damn thing for you. Get over here. Get over here. You can do it. No. Okay. Now, this one. You basically got an angle like this. So what I would suggest is number one, turn this around like so, and cut you a angle at the bottom so it's actually flush. You see what I mean on your board? Because when we throw plaster on there, we got, like I said, we gotta have this vertical surface out there. All right, keep going. When are you going to cast this? Friday? 